Hello everyone, this is Harsimran Singh from Lockers. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of task management. So the very first thing you should do is click on the tasks here on the left side. This will list all the tasks you have to do. And the tasks are ordered by a due date. See like I have a lot of tasks starting from 2011. So it shows me a list of all the tasks. You can click on new task or you can add a task from here. You can just start typing the name of a task. Select a private task or public task. Select a matter and to whom you want to assign, you can add a new task like this. Or you can click on a new task here and you can add a new task. You can add reminders on a task. You can add a pop-up SMS and email reminder. You can add a subtask. So tough subtasks are very useful, you know, like if you want to assign a subtask to multiple people, like you can create one big task and then, then divide that task into multiple tasks. So for example, I can assign to different people this task. File a document. And here you can add subtasks. So you can say task one. Add another task, task two and assign to different people in the firm. You can see the tasks which were created by you, but you delegated to other people. So if you click on delegated, it shows all the tasks which were created by you, but you assigned to the other people in the firm. You can click on filters and you can see all team tasks, all organization tasks. You can Filter it based on due dates. For example, I just want to see the tasks which are for this year. So if I do this and see here, now it's showing me only the task for this year. Other useful feature we have is you can add tags on a task. So you can say sales, you can add your own tags. Your tags can be anything, high, low priority, whatever you want to add. Here you can add notes about on a task. You can make a task which is a private task. So if you're working on something and you don't want other people in the firm to see your task, you can make a task as a private. You can add a start date on a task. You can add a due time on task. You can make a task which is a repeating task. A periodically repeating task is whenever a task completes, it will automatically create itself again. You can trigger a due date of task based on previous task. So you can say this task is three days after the completion of task three. And if I go in a task three and change the due date of that, this task's due date will automatically set based on the due date of a task three. You can add a start date, add a due time. Due time is very useful if you're adding the reminders. So let's say task is due at 2 p.m. and you want to send a reminder at 1 p.m. So due time is really useful. If you don't have a due time, we are going to send the, the reminders based on 8 a.m. even if you don't add a, at a time. Thank you very much.